Hey, welcome back to Simply Living It. Today, I want to share something very different with you. We are kicking off a new year, right? It's the beginning of a year, fresh start, clean slate. Everybody's got all the you know, plans and routines and fitness routines and budget books and organizers and planners and all the things for a fresh new year. And with that comes um, a lot of motivation and drive and all the fun things to just be super motivated and do everything, right? But with everything, motivation will die and fade with time. Motivation comes and goes in and out of every day. And with that, I have noticed in and of myself, in the past, there are times that I have started a plan, whatever it might be, anything and everything, like take this and apply it to your life, right? I've started a plan and then my motivation starts to dwindle, motivation peaks again, and it's just like this constant wave in the ocean that I'm writing, right? Which is normal and it's all part of life. Today's world where you have all the plans and all the things kind of at your fingertips and you can choose to go whichever avenue or path you want to go. Today I thought that maybe this video would be super, super helpful for someone who wants a simple, practical, um, easy method for studying the Bible. So I wanna share with you how I study the Bible. I have done different Bible reading plans in the past. I have done different devotions in the past. The method I wanna share with you was introduced to me um, like six months ago, I think, from a fellow homeschool mom. I am a homeschool mom. I do stay home and homeschool our three boys. And this method we actually do in our homeschool with my boys as well. So I wanted a simple, practical, easy method to study God's word where I could actually take and dissect what I'm reading and like marinate in it. I love the word marinate because I just wanna soak in it. I just wanna soak in it. And when I come out of it, like I'm thinking of steak, right? Like when you marinate steak or you marinate something, you put something in and it sits in it for 30 minutes and it comes out changed. That's me and my heart and intention behind reading God's word. I wanna go in one way and come out changed. The posture and your posture and heart in reading God's word, in reading what he has for us, is to read it and to come out changed. So just with that analogy of marinating steak, I want to go in and come out different. I want to taste different, I want to look different, I want to feel different, I want to appear well, I guess that would be look, but I wanna be different, I wanna be changed. The soak method that I'm talking about, it's no pressure, it's no stress, it's very simple and very intentional and very meaningful, which for some people, biting, like typical Bible reading plans might be that. There's no shame in however you do it, it's, there's no shame at all and none of it is wasted. My personality and where I'm at right now in life, this method seems to be solid and true and I feel like I am growing and learning so much and seeing God in the Bible like reading something and seeing him so the soak method that's what I come to s o a k it's that acronym for scripture observation or interpretation application and I like the k for kneeling in prayer and also it kind of goes with that whole marinate theme for me like it's easy for me to remember like I want to soak in his word I want to marinate in his word and kneel in prayer is what the K stands for so scripture observation application or interpretation and kneeling in prayer and I'll show you later in this video how like just a quick overview of what that looks like in real form um, as we work through something but I'm currently working through the book of Psalms with my boys and we do this during our homeschool time. So I have my own individual reading time where I go through Matthew and then when we are doing like time together as a family, we all get out our Bibles and all of my boys do this independently and then we share after we've had our time like what God is showing to us and how we can apply that to our life. And it's been so beautiful because there are times that like my boys and I will line up perfectly and times that they will pull something out totally different and open my eyes to something that I've never seen before. Really taking a chapter of the Bible and I'm able to really marinate in that and see like, what is God saying? Instead of just reading to flip the pages and reading to read, like I'm reading with intention of looking for God, scripture stands out to me. What scripture can I take and apply to my life right now? What verse jumps off the pages? And sometimes it's like, hmm, I don't really know. I'm not seeing 
something jump off the pages so you look a little deeper. Read it out loud. You read it again. Read it silently. Then you sit for a minute in stillness and something pops out. You write that verse down. That's the scripture I'm working on, right? I'm gonna marinate in that. And what do I observe in that? Where do I see God? What am I seeing? How, how can I interpret what God is saying in that verse? Application, how do I apply that to my life today? How does that apply to the life I'm living and breathing every single day in this world that we live in? Today for the kneeling in prayer, I just write down my prayer, my simple prayer that might happen to go with that scripture stood out. But I just feel that has so changed my heart and intention and my approach when I'm going to read my Bible. It's kind of, it's shifted things a little bit, actually a lot. And I really, really, really love that. It's shifted things in me a lot and my posture towards spending the time that I spend reading through the Bible. It's just kind of been a revelation, if you will, where things have totally changed for me and I love it. And maybe you're one of the mamas who loves to do Bible plans and follow something like chronologically, or I, I, there are a million and 10 different ways that you can do this and a million and 10 different resources that, that we can throw at you to say, use this, use this, use this, it'll be great. It's simply my Bible. It is my Bible journal and a simple pen. Sometimes my Bible journal is just a like spiral notebook, like the super cheap ones. Kids all have their Bible, they have their Bible journal, we have a pen, something to write with, and we'll sit for 15, 20 minutes, however long it takes us to get through it, and then we share it out loud. And I just think it's a beautiful thing that can be taken regardless of your age, regardless of um, where you're at spiritually. I think this is such a gift to be able to just take even a simple verse and break it down. Where do I see God and how do I see God moving? What does this look like? for me and how can I apply this to my life and what is God telling me in this? I'm gonna grab my notebook and grab my Bible and just kind of show you what I'm talking about and share with you what this actually looks like when you apply this method of studying the Bible to your life, what it can look like. This is just the way I do it. Obviously, there are so many different ways that this can be done and they're all beautiful, but this is how I'm currently doing it and it's been a gift for sure. So this is the journal that I just finished up with. These were purchased on Amazon. There's like a four pack, I think, three or four pack, just to show you kind of what this looks like. I always write um, S-O-A-K at the top, Psalms 18, 1, 4, 23 for the date. On this specific day, I had two different verses that really stood out to me and applied to so many things that I was walking through. Um, from his temple, he heard my voice and my cry reached his ears down from on high and took hold of me. He pulled me out of deep waters, he rescued me. And then observation, application, and kneeling in prayer, that just goes through some personal stuff there, but that he hears, that he listens, that he hears our cries, he hears our prayers, he sees us, he's with us always, and he rescues us, he rescued me. And that's just kind of my prayer um, of gratitude for um, God rescuing me, for God saving me, for, um, the fact that he cares, he cares, he sees me, he loves me, he hears my cries, that I'm not alone, that he's with me always. And that's just kind of more personal in-depth stuff in there, but that is just a brief overview of what that looks like to actually apply the SOAK method to your life. So I just do one chapter at a time. So whatever one we happen to be working on, like that day specifically, it was um, Psalm 18. And so now next time we get our Bible out to do this method with my boys, um, we will go through Psalm 19. And so we will just read through that one chapter. And some of these are a little bit longer so I can break them down since I am doing with my kids. But if I was doing them just by myself, I would do the whole chapter, which is what I'm doing. My kids are doing half of it. So if you're looking for something that you can do with your kids, this is a beautiful, awesome way to study God's word um, with your children as well, whether you homeschool or not. Like this is, this is an awesome way for us. So this is um, actually my husband's Bible. Mine is in my room next to my bed, but it is the Tony Evans study Bible. I do also have the Tony Evans Bible commentary that is incredibly handy to have. Me During my Bible time, I keep my journal, whatever journal I'm working in and writing through at that time. I will have my Bible and then I also have the Bible commentary because that has been so incredibly helpful to me as I'm learning and growing in my faith journey as well. And some pens, nothing fancy, just your basic pen, basic pencil. And that is how I study the Bible in the season of a fresh new year and all these things being thrown at us and all these things we could purchase and invest in and and all the things, the one thing that is the most important to me is further investing in my relationship with God. And this is a simple, simple, practical way 
to study the Bible, to study God's Word. If you are looking for a way to study God's Word, try this. Let me know how you study God's Word. If you already do this method, I would love to hear from you. I know it's incredibly popular, um, but it sticks. For me personally, it sticks, it works, and I love it. I can feel God leading me to new places with this. I want to share it with you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. I would love to chat about this in the comment section. And if you missed my last video, um, I will link it down below, but I'm also working on reading through uh, Matthew and just kind of dissecting that in my personal Bible study time when I'm not doing the soak method. And it's been, it's been awesome. It's been great. So if you want to join and read through Matthew as well, I encourage you to do so and maybe share in the comments what God is revealing to you in that reading as well. I would love to hear from you. So that's it for today's video. I will see you when I see you. Bye.